How's it going guys? I am doing some work with my brother today on his 2016 Subaru BRZ. We're trying to get it ready for Big Northwest, which is a big Subaru car meet. It's this weekend and he is in the car show. So we're gonna be adding a few final touches and just getting this thing cleaned up and ready for the show. Today, we're going to be installing some Subaru STI side skirts. See one of them laid out here. These are just an official Subaru part. There's not a lot of info on how to actually install these on YouTube. So we wanted to make a video to kind of show you guys. So the first thing I wanna show is what actually comes in this kit. Um, so you'll get two of these side skirt pieces. There's one for the right side, one for the left side, um, and then a bunch of hardware. So I laid out the hardware that comes in the kit. Uh, let's see if I zoom in. So you get like four of these screws four of these, I don't know what they're called, these plastic pieces which um, go with the screws. You get four of these little bracket pieces and then you get six of these kind of like big push pins. One thing I am missing here, there are a couple, oh, right here, of these like standard sized push pins. Um, you can pretty much use any uh, leftover push pins. They're all pretty much the exact same, but um, that is pretty much all that comes in the kit. So you got the hardware and then uh, both of the side skirts. So real quick before we start installing everything, I just want to show you guys how this side skirt actually attaches to the car. So if you look at the side skirt here, there are three of these kind of like tabs which have a big circle in them. There's one, second one, third one. And these um, are what the big push pins are for and these go into the bottom of the car. So let me jump under the bottom of the car and I'll show you guys where this mounts. So it's a little hard to see and it took us a while to actually find these because they kind of like are covered in this weather sealant. There are these big circle like rubber pieces that are in the bottom of the frame and these actually pop out with a flat head. So all you have to do is find the ones that line up with the side screw and then just use a flat head to kind of like work around the edges and this piece actually does pop out. We went ahead and pulled one of them out. You can see it right there. And what you end up doing is you use that big push pin to go through that piece on the side skirt and then into the frame of the car. There are those three big push pins. And then there's actually one, uh, it's just like a standard size push pin. And it's in the very front near the front wheel. And you actually just, there's already a push pin there. Um, so you just reuse the one that's already there for this very front piece and that's all of the mounting that goes along the bottom side of the car. And coming to the back, there are two holes in the back side of the side skirt and you use these tabs to clip onto just like the metal piece, the metal end piece of the car. The screw actually just goes right into there and obviously you'll have the side skirt attached when you do this. Um, but basically this tab just gives you something for the screw to bite down on. So there are two of those pieces on the back end of the car. Then on the front, um, depends on I guess if you have fender liner or not. In this case we do not have fender liner. But there is one hole right there on the front side. And if you do have fender liner, you can just use a standard size push pin to um, attach it right there. So underneath the car, those rubber caps, um, there's like six of them and you only need to remove three. So right now I'm gonna hold the side skirt up. That way Owen can figure out which other two rubber caps we need to remove. And after that, we're gonna start by attaching these three big pins. Once you find, find one too, we can drop the side skirt down so you yeah. have room. There you go. You guys can see the two holes now there too, and that's the opening for the push bin. So that's all three that you have to remove. Let's go ahead and attach the side skirt with the big push pins. There's also these like kind of rubber rings or something, which I think you can use. Maybe they just help like seal it or something. So we'll try and throw some of those on too. So this, you can see this brown kind of like backing on here. If you peel this off, there's actually a sticky side. Uh, I don't know exactly which way it goes, but my guess is that the sticky side goes 
facing up into the bottom of the side skirt. What we're gonna do is put the rubber or the block side facing down on the push pin and then the sticky side will peel that tape off and this will stick into the bottom of the side skirt. We just attached our gasket like that. I have no idea if that's how it is supposed to go, um, but that's what we did, so. Sweet, and then there's one more. So we got the three main push pins in now, as you can see. Basically it holds in the side skirt pretty well. Cool, um, the last one we'll do on the bottom is just that, putting in that last push pin. Just pop it in. And again, this push pin should already be in your vehicle. If not, you can just use any standard size push pin. All right, so next we're putting in these pieces on the end. I went ahead and put one in. With this tab, there are two sides to it. One kind of has a bigger opening, and then the other kind of has this like side with a slot in it. You basically want the screw to go into the bigger opening. Make sure the bigger opening is facing the back of the car, um, not this side. You want this side. And then the other thing we're doing too is using these plastic pieces that come with the screw. We're putting the screw through that plastic piece like this and then that gives it a super clean look. That's what it looks like. So all you do is line them up. Those tabs again just go onto the side of the frame and then you go ahead So there you can see both of the screws are attached on the back end. The last two things to do are the double sided sticky tape and putting a zip tie up front. We ended up taking this, this top bolt out just to give more room for the sticky tape. We'll just go all the way along and then let's go back and just, it says to like push it for like 10 seconds. So yeah, we just make sure it's attached, but we'll just get the whole tape off first. I just peeled the tape off and I went along and pushed as he did it. Now we're going to go back and just um, push on everything for a little bit just to make sure that tape is secure. So now that we went around and pressed the tape down, you can go ahead and retighten these two screws down in the back. You may have to readjust it a little bit because this side skirt did go a little farther in than we had originally positioned it. But that's okay, just adjust the tab and then go ahead and tighten these down. The last thing we're going to do, normally if you have fender liner, there's a push tab there but since we don't, we're just gonna run a zip tie. All right guys, so like, I swear you can never install any car part without running into problems. What we've just figured out is that the tape that they included didn't go all the way to the end. And basically right here at the end, it was starting to peel up. It still is a little bit just cause there's no tape there. And also because we don't have a fender liner. Um, so before you install it, just make sure that there's tape all the way to the end. We added a little bit on the other sides. The reason we don't want to leave it open is because then when the car's driving and wind's getting in and dirt's getting in there, eventually like this is just gonna start to peel off more and more. And we just wanna make sure this stays as sealed as possible. So just double check that there's tape throughout the entire side skirt because unfortunately on this one there wasn't and it took a while to kind of try and find a way to get it to um, line up. So. Right, so we just got the second side skirt on. It went on a lot smoother and overall just looked a lot cleaner from um, the minute we put it on just because that tape did run the whole length of the side skirt. So yeah, I don't know why they must have just had, I mean, it wasn't much missing from this right side skirt, but it was enough just to create a little bit of a gap. So um, that was kind of a pain to try and figure that out. but. I think we are officially done with the side skirt install, um, which is great because we have a lot left to do to get prepared before this car show. We got to clean all the wheels and tires, clean the interior, clean the exterior, clean the engine bay. There's a lot to do, um, along with like getting some posters and some other show stuff ready. So we're going to be busy here these next couple days, but that was kind of a guide for the side skirts. I hope that kind of helped. I know there's not a lot of great videos online. Hopefully that clearly shows kind of what needs to be done. Um, we don't have to do any drilling or anything. It's pretty much everything is already there for you. So um, that's going to do it for this video. I know it's kind of a shorter video, but um, I hope that it kind of helps you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.